Hello and welcome back to the Fireflink demonstration. In this video, we'll walk you through the process of reporting bugs or issues after the execution of an automation test suite. It is important to note that Fireflink offers seamless integration with a variety of popular third-party tools. This includes cloud platforms, CICD tools, project management, and collaboration tools. Moreover, Fireflink's APIs are highly flexible and can be customized to meet your specific integration needs. To understand the procedure of raising an issue within the execution section, take note of the status displayed for each suite after its execution. By clicking on the respective status, you will gain access to detailed information. Clicking on the failed suite status, in particular, will take you to the module level execution status for that specific suite. Clicking on it once more will provide you with the script level results, and another click will redirect you to the exact automation step that has encountered a failure. Now, let's explore two possibilities. The first is that there may be a bug within the application being tested, while the second is that there could be an issue with the script written by the engineer. After conducting an analysis and determining that there is indeed a bug in the application, the test engineer needs to raise it as an issue. To do so, click on the bug icon located next to the failed status. Clicking on it will reveal a drop-down menu with various options. As mentioned earlier, Fireflink offers pre-integrations with different tools for issue tracking. For example, let's assume the user wishes to raise the issue using the JIRA tool. Before proceeding, it is important to ensure that you have already set up a JIRA instance that connects your JIRA account with the Fireflink platform. Once that is done, click on the JIRA option from the drop-down. This action will open a Create Issue pop-up. Notably, the steps to reproduce the issue are already preloaded, making it convenient for the user. Additionally, various environment details such as browser, operating system, and execution environment are pre-provided. Simply enter the required information, and click on the Create Issue button. Now, your specific JIRA account will be notified of the issue. Similar to that, the user can easily raise the issue by following a few simple steps and using any tool from the options offered. We also have a built-in defect management system. As you can see, we provide Fireflink as an alternative. If you choose Fireflink, the procedures to reproduce the bugs will also be automatically created, just like the other options. Carefully enter the remaining information before pressing Create. You would have successfully logged an issue within Fireflink. Now, select the Defects tab, and you will see that the issue has been successfully generated. To sum up, in this video, we have learned the significance of the bug indicator, the pre-integrations offered for seamless workflows, the procedure for creating an issue with JIRA, and also how to centrally manage issues within Fireflink. We appreciate you watching this video. Visit www.fireflink.com for additional details and to schedule a free demo today.